All right, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but let's see how day two goes. Um, game number one was pretty bad. Uh, had some decent... Had some decent hoes and... But most of it is pretty rough. So maybe game number two will be a whole lot better. But we will see. Round two. So let's get after it. This starting up the right side. That's uh, gonna go straight in. No, uh, looks like I'm gonna dodge the sand pit. Nope, right in the rough. Awful. And That's this not is the less way than ideal to start the morning. I want to start settle out. down into the heavy stuff. The lie is not a friendly one, but still a chance to get on in two with a good shot here. I like to be able to drop it right about there, but I don't want to hit too hard. Up on the green, getting right there at the pin, so that's going to make it where I have a decent little putt. Apparently, finding the thick stuff off the tee was not an issue. That's really well played. From the heavy stuff to here, now this for birdie. I'm going to have to move this over to the left a little bit. Looks like it's sloping down some. Oh, miss no, nah, man. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. Birdie. And hopefully that can jumpstart the round because it's going to take a good one to overcome yesterday's performance and make it through to the weekend. The second hole of par three measuring 220 yards. In theory, it's a straightforward, the long par three. Two bunkers left and short shouldn't be in fight, but the hole does play deceivingly uphill. So... A solid strike is a must. Pretty dang straight. And die right next to it. Uh, it's going up. Maybe it'll come back a little bit. Wish it came back a little bit straighter. It's going to be more left of the hole. Right, look solid at shot and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Looks like he did that uh, birdie nice. opportunity at two and Nota Begay is down there. And not much up or downhill here, sir. Speed not a it. consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. Not bad for a, a little. Okay, not a bad read putt. there on the left to right. It just comes up a little short. That finished off for a par, you with the second. And he'll so right now, at six negative eight. one of the day. Yesterday I finished with a plus seven. We head to the third now, our first par five at 563 yards. Bunkers appear to be scattered on either side of the fairway, so accuracy is a must. This green is definitely reachable in two, but it does run nearly 50 yards from front to back, so if your approach isn't on oh. target, you could be left with a putt of better than 100 feet. There's so many put it in the sand, that'd be awful. That one looking a little right. It's looking right, but it's right where I yeah, want it to be. Yeah, fault there. Good balance, Roll good down. follow through, and a good start to this hole. Let's see what they do from a good line in the fairway, 180 I yards see. to go. Looks like it's going to drop right at it. I don't really want it to drop right at it. That's too much. 
I think I'll go with a seven iron. I don't want it. I don't want it hit before. Oh, it's too much. Right to the sand. Of course, right. What I did want to do, uh, maybe I should have took green is well the six That's two iron. Good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. God, that's awful. Not bad. A little far, further than I wanted, but... All right, not exactly okay. what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with Birdie still in play. What's up, coach? This nah, this is my career mode. 15 feet. So I'm doing day two of the amateur. Uh, let's get... mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. I need to do the four round of the uh, online tournament just so that, to try to get better at it a little bit. So far here at the third. And he'll stay right where he is. Next up, we reach the par four fourth, measuring out at 443 yards. The bunker left of the fairway. But doing these things will make me better to get in the tournaments to online. Run a tee shot right through the fairway, but if you do wind up in the short grass, uh, this one shot, yesterday, one of the most panoramic. I shot it too far. Put it off in the water. No, I guess I did. That was another one. Man, I just don't Ooh, feel like well I'm right. looking at that bad. Off in a row. That is going to be tough in there. That Dude, is I'm loving the, the game. Stuff. It's been a while since I enjoyed a golf game like I am on He's this one. He's got a one. clear path to the green, but this definitely not where you want to be for your second. Look at that thing just skiing. Oh! Problem starting to worsen now. Yeah, he's listening to people that could be adding an option to only playing two rounds per tournament. Very needed. Yeah, four rounds is uh, it's, uh, long. It is a game of touch. It is evidence right there. When it's a game of touch. Out, what a difference! And it's it a game I do not have. A long way past. I gotta survive this hole. Just make it to the next one. Just get it close. Okay, not a bad effort. And he's walking like he's. 70. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. He'll slide a bit. Yeah, I'm trying to get seven over par. Uh, man, listen to him talk. I'm trying to talk at the same time. Kind of struggle. We turn north. But yeah, a little flop. Pitch. 445 yards. Everything like that. Fifth. It's a little different. Like the previous hole, the landing area. It's a narrow one, like and that. it doesn't get much easier from there. The green's protected by a big bunker on the right, and be careful because Beautiful. those onshore breezes like to push the ball that way. Oh, that's going straight to the rough. Could be in the sand. 
in the sand. I wouldn't want it any and other way. Ball gonna roll out a little too much as the momentum yep. carries it all the way into the bunker. They got the realistic so a aspect. Poor result on the tee shot. On look now he'll dig in ball. with his second to the par four. That's nice. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker, it certainly gets a pass great. Not only a long putt, but a bending putt. Strong yes. right to left in Pushing this one. Left, really They'll good. be very pleased just to get this one within a couple of feet. God. Can't leave it that short, can you? I guess I shouldn't have gone a seven back footer. In that much. Ooh, Miss that's got a little up. bit more movement than you think, and that'll slide on by. Go from a good. Pitch out of the sand. Okay. That one but rushed three. in for bogey here at the fifth. So back to back bogeys. That's horrible. Way down. I let Eight off the birdie, par. a par, and a bogey bogey. Second round, the 117. Second of this front side. And the long one. Tough. This sixth hole measuring out at 217 yards. And that's one of those. I don't head, know if you, you don't go left because if you do, <laughs> you'll be down the cliff and onto the more. beach here by five mile point. If it get better, if, it, if the line gets a little bit better on it, if, as long as you upgrade your putting, if it gets any easier, or if it's just a user, probably will always be the user. I'm getting straighter. Ooh, it's going far. I'm getting back a bit. Took some backspin and won't do it. And that one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. She said dead aim. I don't think so. I think I'm going to come up short. No. Yeah, yeah that's man, good. Just over a little bit too right. Slippery one, but that's well done. Oh, I'm so mad. Could have been a lot worse. Ooh. Safely in for par here at the sixth. I don't honestly remain, didn't think he was going to get there. for the tournament. It looked pretty slow. So, one sixteen. We make our turn away from the ocean now and head to the par four seven. At 411 yards, it offers like a nice park. wide fairway to sort of bomb away into. That will likely leave an uphill approach for the second. The green that is one of the more difficult on the course. Man, these golf games that came a long ways since we grew up playing them. Go, you're gonna you're gonna have to see Mario when it comes out on DVD. That thing is like reliving your childhood. All the little subtle music. That one up the right side. All the games, little Easter eggs throughout the whole just movies in the background. Just what you want at this point around. Just, trying to find oh, a just, rhythm. Hit fairway, awesome. hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Yeah, it was good. And you know, Luigi kind of had shot his, coming up uh, just 97 yards his own left game the for a little bit. Like I think it was Luigi's haunted house or something like that. They kind of played that in there. Let's see where's that drop? I don't want it dropped that far. I'll put it right there. Man, that's a straight shot. Shit. We'll go with it. I'm so, ooh, man, it's that's get up on me. I'll take it. That was gonna be awful. Look at man, what the luck. I said luck. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Yeah, he should be happy. He hit the side of that heel. Now this nota for birdie. And a glassy look, look to this that. putt as it works downhill with right to left in it. Oh, 
Look at there. Boom. Nah, the pace. Absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for Man, birdie. Man, that could have been devastating. And he'll gain a little if ground I get that as side, he moves to 7 still 113, so that's shady. The 8th hole is in part 4 at 385 yards. Putt. This one, similar in a lot of ways to the 3rd hole. The I gotta have that line. I know you don't play that line. Two fairway bunkers, and in theory, lead just use a little that line, pitch and if I didn't have it, I'd second. be all over the place. I gotta have that putt assist line. I hope it makes it over that. Should make it over. Yeah, that's a good shot. Get a little run. I gotta start running off some birdies. To have a chance. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Oh man, it's hard. Oh, it's gonna die right up there next to it. It kind of scares you when that it takes off like that. Absolutely fine. A five footer now for Looks birdie. Like it's gonna be a straight shot. A little bit to the right. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. Cut line is plus one. And well, back to I got to make par. a charge. Well, whereas the eighth was a short par four, nothing short about our closing hole here on this front side. The par five ninth topping out at 585 yards, the longest hole on the course. That said, birdie is certain not out of the equation. That is, if you can avoid the pot bunkers in the landing area off the tee. Oh yeah, I do see at the top right, it says cut line plus one. I got 10 hoes left. Oof. Look at that shank. Well, at least it ain't to the middle. It's gonna be away from the little bump. No issues here, that is into the fairway. I'm gonna push you right. That was the hole to do it on. Oh man! Watch out, people! Oh yeah! Mm, that going straight down into the heavy rough. Straight down into that guy's butt. I'm gonna land it before, maybe to the right a little bit. Hopefully, it hit and roll over to the left a little bit. Well, it didn't roll like I was hoping it'd do. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Ooh, too much to the right. Just too much. I went too hard. God, I blew that one. Yeah, that's a good part. It's in for par here at the ninth. Oh, man, I could have shaved off the birdie. I shot that birdie. As he goes out in 35. We begin the back nine here at Bandon Dunes with a par four measuring out at 380 yards. It's yet another hole where that blue ocean catches your eye in the distance beyond. This hole, fairly straightforward. The big hitter should take note of that hot bunker that sits about 30 yards short of the green. Yeah, can't miss him. I blew it. Oh no. No. 
Involved in those sand dunes. Nope. Get that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball going to run off the fairway and into the bunker. This green is going all over the place. That's going to look mm, awful. Not an ideal result there. Hoping to maybe get this close. It is on the green, but have a chance. Not man, where you want to be. Birdie down. putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. One thing I can say is it looks to be almost dead straight, but it's going to carry a good amount of speed as it hits that slope. Is that in? Oh, oh never a doubt. That one was cracking the entire way. It is in for a spectacular birdie. Birdie. And he'll get things back to five over. The 11th here at Bandon Dunes at 452 yards apart for the putt bunker left of the fairway is the main concern on the tee shot. From there, an uphill second takes you to a green that slopes away and back toward the ocean beyond. On your place right now. Oh, it's sitting right. Look at that. This crap. one's starting a little bit right. It's all right. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. A left to right breeze, something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. Man, backpedal it, backpedal it. It's still going. Want to chip it. Well, that one didn't work out. Didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Thirteen feet away. That one just going to sneak on by. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. And that's going to drop six. him back down to six over. Onto the par 3 12th hole. This is the number 18 handicap hole, so maybe that gives you a little reason for optimism. But par is not a bad score here as this measures out at 238 yards, the longest of the four par threes. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Just a couple of feet. So a tough hole. It's in for bogey, bogey at 12. Blowing it. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Completely gone on the rampage after this one.
We come now to the 13th, a 553-yard par 5. This hole reachable in two. You may need to get lucky, though, on your drive as rolling dunes could leave you with an uphill flyer lie or a tough downhill shot to contend with. This one starting a hair right. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Got to hit some people. Hit the leprechaun out there. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three way trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll hold steady at seven over par. On a course with so many great vistas, this is visually a tough hole. This par 4, 14. Look out in the fairway and you'll see pot bunkers to contend with in your landing area. Day two, if you can stay left two. of the danger, you will have a better look into an elongated green. That's a good drive there. It's gonna be on the green. Or it might be up on top of the hill up there into the rough. It comes back down into the green. On the green, sure, but plenty of real estate between the ball and the hole. So now's where it's going to get tricky. This will need to be weighted perfectly. It's for Eagle. Could that have a chance? Could that have a chance? No, nope. it's just right, but about the it's going to make it easier Are second putt for a birdie. That is exceptional from that distance. That is worth a wow. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Easy does it there. It's a birdie at 14. It will certainly help the cause. So, on now to the final forward. par three on the course, the 15th, listed at 206 yards. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't right. avoid that front Plus right bunker, six. the deepest on the course. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot too far and it gets some back spin, so it can be rough. Oh. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Here we go. This Can't one for birdie. Far. It's lining up. Oh, I'm just going to barely Not miss it. But Pretty good in. effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Looks like that's going to be, what, from far, I believe? If I can get it tapped in. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll Three remain. shots on right. that. Take off five just to be able to make the cut. That's that's impossible. There ain't no way. I would have to get an eagle. This is and a one of the pars. signature holes here at Bandon Dunes. The par four 16. Some golfers play for the upper fairway, which bogeys. gives you a bit of an angle bogeys, to the green. Others, they stay cut. down low, which is maybe a little safer. A third option is just to try and carry it over everything. But beware, the pot bunkers and the gorse 
if you Is choose option C. Looks like it might be out of bounds. No, in the dirt. It still counts. Birdie putt now at 16. Gotta and he's got to be happy where this ball wound up. Just slightly uphill, looks almost dead straight. Missed it. Nope. It's going to be a little bogey. I'm in a par. <sighs> okay, that'll be a par here at 16. Lost the chance there. And he'll stay right where he is. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here at the Park 417. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side, thick rough on the left, and a canyon to the right. But a safe drive in the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your second. This is perfect, perfect. Hit. Beautiful look at tempo that. to that swing. Caring. This is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Well, it's 74 yards here as he's set for his second. Man, look at how far. No. This one you always got to look. Take that, makes it for a decent little Hut, but it gives me a chance. That was a nice drive. 18 feet from the bottom of the yeah, cup. Yeah, played a good round. Just had so much ground to make up. Yeah, and I, I choked a little bit too. It's to slow it too bit. far. Okay. Like I say, just, just like real golf. I, feet, though, coming back. I'm going to miss it. I can't make it have a harder putt. I need to get it right in that little circle. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for par. I think I went into this round plus and he'll six. remain right where he is. So I'd say to even. On to the home hole to wrap up the round here at Bandon Dunes. And after battling to get here, isn't it nice to have a birdie hole to take you to the clubhouse? That's but I think I'm going to do this career. This 558 yard yeah, par five. Yeah, Simply the avoid the bunkers off the tee. That's what I'm going to focus on. I think it's putting because I mean, my drive and everything good. Just max out my putting, then go with my drive and deal with my short game. Short game ain't all that bad. But I think my career mode, every time I play a career game, I'm going to live stream, say screw it, just do a round. It takes about 30 minutes, I think, to do a round. Just do maybe one round a day, at least, for every couple of days. Oh, no. I like to play around where there's no sand pits. That would that would and be great. And that one looked good for a while, but it's going to get gobbled up by that bunker. Going to get Getting gobbled out up by that bunker. Thank you. Distance here as he readies his second. That. Commentators. Where you go? Oh. <laughs> Oh, and this hole can really play with your mind. That is one you'd like well, to have over again. Well, I'm just again. making sure I ain't making no cut. Devastating. Go ahead and get in that bunker down there. Yep, thank you. Don't get out of it. Oh, ooh, might as well just put it in there. Ooh, that's more right, because that thing's sloping to the left pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Yeah, so it's when he hit the pin from the pin, it stopped it. Thank God, move to the right. Look at that big slope. That one just gonna sneak on by. Is this gonna be like a double bogey? Okay, a shake of the head as that one is Man, that was a rough off. par five. And that won't help the cause one bit. Projected cut line plus so four. So a disappointing end to the tournament for our featured forth. golfer heading home following these two rounds after failing to make the cut. Time for a little uh, introspective look. So 35 well, yesterday, and then, and I uh, hit 37 to today. So that should just about do it for all of us at EA Sports. Thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters. Well. Negative five was tied for first as a three-way tie. Points to my putting. You did not make the cut. You finished around 94th place at a plus seven and missed the cut. Shake it off and get ready for the next tournament. Entry requirements. Win any amateur championship event. You are not eligible for the Masters tournament. You did not meet the requirements for the invitational. No shit. You are not eligible for U.S. Open. You did not meet the requirements for an invitation with any amateur championship. So the next one is week four. My next game will be in Orlando, Florida for Bay Hill Club and Lodge, Corn Ferry Tour, Q School. So my next live stream, that's where that's gonna be at. Let's get my golf on the other. Let's bring it on down the platinum. I got eight. Let's go ahead and use all eight for my putting. So I use all eight to my putting because I really need to get better at that. I think my long game is pretty good. Short game ain't bad, but the putting is where it's killing me. So I really want to max out my putting, then I can mess with my driving and power, maybe power, I don't know. Let's see what the tournaments look like. Go ahead and uh, do the four hole over here. Do a little tournament, online tournament. Set upon the cliffs high above the Pacific Ocean below, there's a look at the majestic south course at Torrey Pines, site of this edition of EA Sports. PGA Tour golf. And the best golfers. Fritz Rutter alongside a Frank Nabolo. And Frank, this is such a beautiful Duke's golf course. But it's reachable, isn't it? It's Tory open Pines. to the public. Yeah, we so just don't have enough great public venues. So this is just four holes on online daily tournaments. Not just the price to go out and play, but I think you know, the, the fact that everybody's able to play. I live golf it, on public your, golf course. Uh, I think just about every player that you know sort of got to be a professional learned golf on a public golf course, and that's why these courses have to be looked after. So let's get out to the course already deep into the round as we head to the tee on the par 4 15th. Kind of reminds me of Wren Tree in a way. And that will do just fine. 
How it remind me of Ravenwood. Gotta a think bit. this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Uh, this is the online coach. This is the four hole tournament, daily tournaments. This is a free one. There's some that cost you like a thousand to get in. But until I get my guy better. I used up all my eight points into my putting. You know, this hoe here, though, Coach, mine's made of Ravenwood. Was that uh, hoe nine coming up or hoe? I guess it was actually hoe 18 coming up and the clubhouse over to the right, you know. Man, I love it. Too much. Man, I love that bunker, as you can tell. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the okay, fairway back. and I'll the see approach Braylon. lines All up right. in the bunker. Give her big elevens. That's awesome that you guys get to go see her right now. Yeah, look how quick that was. Very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand. And that race is right on by. One over for the day. Coming down the home stretch here at Torrey Pines, 227 yard, par 316. Three bunkers protecting the green, but there is an opening in the front. Yeah, even with the uphill slope, it's just hard to get a ball to stop on this green from that far back, and that'll run off long and into the rough. Man, look at it just take off, man. And that will be quite a challenge from there to get away with his par. If, if he can make this, I'll just take it, run to the next hole. Man, that's a lot. Nope, didn't get that out there far enough, and it winds up sliding by to the right. Well, you know, not to be. Well, he was flirting with even par, thinking if he made a birdie, he'd be at level. Came into this hole at one over with the double, all the way to three over par. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443-yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker, 275 yards down that right side. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Deeply up the hill here. This is going to play very long. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. This from seven feet. Mm, that's going to leak out to the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. Yes. Gonna 
rocky road to this point, four over par on the round. Here we are at the finishing hole at Torrey Pines, 570 yard, 18. Idyllic par five, fairly straight the whole way, but that pond they call Devlin's Billabong always makes going for the green into a risky proposition. There's certainly a lot of different ways to play a par five. Going to have to figure out the best way to play this par five using three shots to reach the green. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Good shot right there with that three was sitting up nicely. Yeah, most importantly, the second shot's on the fairway. And this par five playing long today. See how close this third shot can be hit. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And he couldn't ask for a better setup from this distance. Just slightly uphill, something on the right edge could go in. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is par. Well, that'll wrap it up for us today. We saw a lot of great golf, Frank. Yeah, the course was good. It was gettable for some, but, uh, you know, in the end, it really gave you what you deserve, just the way we want it. And that'll do it for our entire team. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.